Hey guys, it's me. Um, wow, I'm slowly learning the uh, struggles of being, making videos and editing and all that jazz. Um, yeah, I'm currently up, uh, well, importing a tag video that I just finished editing and it should be going up shortly. And also, this is just so a quickie uh, wrap up for the Booktubeathon. Um, since it's officially over, I thought I'd just quickly tell you guys what I read, what challenges I did, and how many pages I was able, or not pages, no, yes, that's right, how many pages I was able to get through. So, yeah, here we go. I read a total of 1,051 pages. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. That's not what I thought I was going to make. I was probably thinking I was going to reach about the 650 mark. But not only did I read over a thousand pages, I also completed six of the seven challenges. The only challenge I did not complete was read a total of seven books. Every other challenge I completed. So yeah, I'll just show you those six books that I did finish and what rating I gave them. And that'll be it. That'll be the end of Booktubeathon. So here it goes. Um, the first book I read was God's Behaving Badly by Marie Phillips. I gave it a 2.75 out of five stars and thus met the challenge of read a book you really wanted to read. So I really wanted to read it. A little disappointed. What can you do? The next book I read was the last book I required which was um, Matt Fraction's Haka Volume 4, The Last Trade in his run of the uh, Archer, my favorite Avenger. And I gave this a 4.5 out of 5. This was a great ending. I'm pretty happy with it. The next thing I picked up was, oh wait, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is read someone else's favorite book, and this is my aunt's favorite books, or one of her many favorite books, and also is just a great reread, um, childhood memory. It's a great book in its own way. Um, four out of five. Then I picked up We Should All Be Feminists. Uh, this was an easy 5 out of 5. Um, quick read. I read it in about 20 minutes. I highly recommend it. I'm going to do a full book talk on this uh, later on in the week. And then after that, I picked up um, Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. My last name is Harris. Hers is Hawkins. H and H. So that meets the last name uh, requirement. Also, quick last note. This fib, um, this met the read a cover, uh, cover with blue on it, so the lettering here is blue. The next book I read, which you're supposed to read in one sitting and not put it down, not letting it go, and that was The Outsider by Albert Camus, and I'm really proud of myself. Um, some of you are thinking, like, why didn't you read, why, uh, we should all be feminists, that should be an easy one because this is more of a challenge for me and I wanted to challenge myself to do it. So yeah, I did this in one sitting, didn't let it go. It was a little difficult when I need to wash my hands, but you know, that's what bras are for. So yeah, this didn't touch the ground and I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is actually a reread for me. Um, I have thoughts, but I don't know if I'll do a review on it. If you're interested, by all means, leave a comment down below. And yeah, that's those are all the books I read. Um, and actually, the last book I picked up was uh, The Last Leaves Falling. I got about 172 pages in before Sunday was over. Um, as you can see, it's a very naked book. But this is a phenomenal book, and I am going to finish it soon, and I will probably do a review of this one. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys again. And I guess the next thing you'll see probably before this video is my tag video. And look at that, my throat's getting all scratchy. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.